Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video. Today we are looking at a new productivity app and this one is called Fabric. I haven't done too much with this but I have tested it out a little bit. So this is similar to Raindrop and My Mind, so a bookmark manager of sorts but this could be your second brain as well. It has great um, web clipping features and is overall looking like a really exciting app. So the first thing you have here is spaces and we can see them as a list or a grid. This is basically like folders. You can press up here to create a new space. So I will call this test space for the sake of this video, test space. And if we jump back here, now we have two folders, but I could have uh, subfolders within this. Uh, so I could have a folder here as well and give this a new, a new name. So it has great uh, organizational capabilities, which I do like. Uh, and it is a really new app, so there are still developments that need to be made. But let's take a look at how this works. So you could add your own notes, so I could start let me try again. So I could start writing here and you can take notes the way that you want and you can even give this note a title. Uh, and here you have a new note. This is your notes. You can add comments right here on the uh, right sidebar. I won't go too deep into that in this video but the way this differs uh, from something like my mind is the ability to uh, to share your different workspaces and to work with others so this will probably be great for teams it has something called data connections as well which is really cool you can add this to google drive or integrate it with google drive with bookmarks figma github notion even local files. There are so many things you can do with this OneDrive as well. I love that they have OneDrive and you can make everything searchable through this. So all of your files and notes inside of OneDrive with all of your different web clippings. But let's try and clip something for this video to see how it works. So I will jump into my medium. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, and I will just use the uh, use the fabric um, the fabric extension right here. You can save the whole URL. I could screenshot a region or I could capture images or text. Let's try uh, doing this first and we can capture this and you get the ability to add a, c a comment so uh, this is this is a test I will add that right here and I will also try to add another one uh, let's try uh, screenshotting a region like this uh, actually, let me bring the Squintle logo here because I want to test something. Uh, we will add this to our inbox because that's a space I have. I like having inboxes. Now let's jump into the inbox. Let's see if this shows up. Uh, and it does. So both of these show up. And I could choose to move them to someplace else and that is easily done by right clicking of, on one of these. I can move this and let's actually move it to another space. Let's move it to the test space, move. And we can do the same for this one. I could even download the image but let's uh, try and move this. Uh, and do it, put it into my test space. And now we can take a look at the search inside of this. So if we try to search for a color, which I know that some, uh, some apps have, if I press purple, it does not show up. So it doesn't have the best 
uh, it doesn't have the best capabilities for searching through or it actually does it shows if you use the somatic uh, search you can actually search for your uh, colors and it finds the color which is great uh, of course it is the somatic search and not the keyword search that's my bad uh, but let's try and search in Norwegian as well. So I have something about a conflict, but it doesn't say conflict. So let me try and search for conflict and see if anything shows up. Actually, it has to be in Norwegian. Uh, so conflict in Norwegian. Let's try that first. As you can see, it appears right here, even though it doesn't say a uh, conflict right there. Let's try this with English and see if it finds the Norwegian result. Um, so it actually does uh, find the Norwegian result right here, which is really cool. Uh, it finds it in the PKM space, which is really, really cool. Um, just in general it is looking like a beautiful app it still needs a little bit of development because the ai isn't as good as in something like my mind but they are doing a cool blend between my mind and uh, raindrop because the only thing i do not like about an app like my mind is that it is only personal so i could not share this with anyone uh, I can't share my findings or my spaces inside of my mind with anyone. But this allows you to share and work collaboratively with different people. And you can even uh, follow along uh, on what others are doing inside of the workspace. Just like you can in things like Figma. You can press their uh, avatar and actually see what they are doing. So this it looks like one of the more exciting apps for 2024 to be your second brain or at least to be a capturing tool. I do like capturing tools because things like any type, craft, even, uh, even things like Notion doesn't do a great job at quick capturing. It can if you set it up correctly, at least Notion, but most of these note-taking apps aren't the best at quick capturing so why i like to have a different app and right now i'm using my mind as my source of uh, of uh, quick capturing and then i move it into the right uh, note-taking app after i have captured it because my mind web clipper is just insane and it captures things so fast but so does actually fabric it captures things quite fast but again AI improvements would do a lot to this and I'm not the biggest fan of this um, this uh, user interface either. I like the grid view but apart from that I doesn't I do not like this too much but that is highly a personal thing. So you also have a timeline view where you can see the latest things you have added inside of here. Anyways, that was everything for today's video. Fabric is the name of the app. I will link it down below so you can check it out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching.